What's up everybody, welcome to part 2 of my Day of Reckoning 2 playthrough. We are here with the great Suzuki who is currently stretching out before our second night on the Royal roster. Chris Jericho, you have a semi-final tournament match tonight against the man who eliminated Randy Orton just last week. Are you at all concerned that Look here, Julia. I know exactly who my match is against this week. I fully agree that he is a great athlete and a great WWE superstar. But let's get something clear right here and now, crotch. I made Triple H tap out two weeks ago. I am the rightful World Heavyweight Champion. Even an ass clown like you has to admit that it's ridiculous that I've got to fight for a title that's already mine. Well, we all saw Triple H pin your shoulders to the mat for a free count during your title match. And Triple H won his semi-final match earlier tonight, so he's already got his spot in the WrestleMania title match, just two weeks away. It seems to me that you've got some catching up to do. Of course, you're no stranger to coming in second to Triple H. Let's get something straight jerky. Why 2J doesn't come in second to anyone? And that's exactly what Great Suzuki's going to find out tonight. He might be a great competitor, but I'm a larger than life living legend. That's a tongue twister. Larger than life, living legend. Larger than life, live, living legend. Larger than life, legend. Tonight, I'm going to, I'm going down to that ring, and I'm going to beat Great Suzuki to earn my place in the WrestleMania title match. Triple H might have gone out losing the title to me once, but that's never, ever going to happen again. Chris Jericho. And from Japan, the Samurai! Let's get to it. Now, um, the only different strike character from last time we saw him is that I upgraded striking with the points that we gained from the Randy Orton match. Um, in the future I'll probably be continuing to put skill points into striking as that's kind of a, uh, well, as the once great Kent has said, my fighting style is kick. Uh, I also think that Charisma would be something that I really need to put points into. Um, charisma affects the length of time that it takes to get a finisher. Uh, so if you see every move that I perform, the man in yellow at the bottom left hand corner, um, or the man in starts to fill up to yellow or gold. When that's full, obviously I get a finisher move. Um, so Charisma actually makes that go up a lot faster. I think that um, probably during this let's play I will be changing up my characters look a tiny bit. Um, I've already grown a little bored of the uh, you know the shield riot jacket. Or the shield uh, bulletproof armor there. But I guess it's um, kind of looks a bit like Delos. You have to let me know if you think it's fun that I just, uh, no. <laughs> Apparently I'm just constantly wrestling as a heel, because uh, everyone I get the the, uh, the ring with has their own chant, so even though I'm trying to appeal to the audience, I'm still getting booed. Um, you yeah, know, there was RKO chants and now there's Y2J chants. They are very, very loud. Every single time the Y2J chance go down and I score a huge move, the Y2J starts to start up again. Oh, it's fine back. It's 
descent to the top rope. <laughs> the huge elbow. Really missing the mark, but there you go. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Oh yeah, I need to try and get my uh, character stamina up a bit. So I'm giving Jericho some breathing room for a little bit here. See what he's going to do. This is the AI on expert, but it's not the smartest AI, so... As you can see, huge close line. And so we get to give him one lariat straight to the back of the neck. See if we can get the one there. One huge there, straight to the front. Send it the top rope. Bust out our finishing move. It's never been seen before. Big splash. Jericho gets out of the way. Momentum shift. That's not good. Oh, and a low blow. Oh, and I'm down. Jericho has turned this match around. I got cocky and I went up top. Jericho is uh, he's coming back now. Oh, that's too close. Although this story has just begun, um, I really not like to lose just yet. Jericho with another kick out. The fans of the holy shh chant. So one of the things I do like about this game is the uh, the selling, as you call it, and it's basically you know you kill somebody, you knock someone down, they actually stay down. Um, it's one thing that you never ever see in the newer games, or at least speaking pre WWE 2K15, you never see any uh, huge lariat there. Now I keep seeing that knockout me come up. That might be going. Might be worth seeing if I can get a knockout victory. There's a huge lariat. He's down. There we go. So I actually just won by knockout. I killed Jericho. Here's your winner, the Samurai. And all it took was a lariat to the back of the head, and then I think I counted four or five lariats, just killing him. Now we see our total was SS because we got crowd excitement. We used a lot of vitality, and the decided move was uh, knockout. So uh, my player evaluation, I did fairly good. Um, I only acquired one special, but that takes a while. I got a ton of experience for that match, so I'm very happy. And there we go. Our story continues. Now this is a little bit shorter then the Randy Orton part, or the first part, which was around 12 minutes. We're currently capping out about 10 minute mark, as I'm sure you can tell from the length of the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly jump to the profile and see what we can do. Now obviously I said the charisma is quite important, but see in order to unlock certain finishing moves, we have to play with uh, striking and stuff like that. And I'm trying to get my striking skill up, but um, see, it seems like it takes a large amount of points in order to actually get a level to go from 1 to uh, 2. And even though, look, the skill there is now 3.0, the level is still 2. So I'm going to put one point into striking, and then I'm going to put another point into charisma. So there we have it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this part and I hope to see you in part three of our day of reckoning two playthrough. Cheers.